Real quick, I wanted to share something with you that I've never shared before, and that is for the next five days, I'm giving you 15 days free to my online drum school, DBO Academy. I could go on and on and tell you about how amazing it is over there, but I figured I would let you try it for yourself totally for free. If you don't absolutely love it, you can cancel any time without paying a single cent. But if you do decide to stay, we will give you $50 off your membership and let you keep that discount every year that you decide to stay. So click the link right up here or in the description below to start your free trial right now because this expires in just five days. Now, let's jump into it. All right, I know you wanna be able to play really, really fast on your kick drum like this. Well, in this lesson, I'm going to teach you the technique that I used to do this, so let's make it happen. All right, so the theme for a lot of this course has been that with each movement that we make, whether it's on our hands or our feet, we have different gears that we are using. The slower the tempo, the bigger the movement. The bigger the movement, the more gears in play. But when the tempo gets higher, we use smaller movements and smaller gears. When it comes to playing fast on the kick drum, it's primarily going to come from your ankle by using the ankle technique. So remember a really good way to know if you are utilizing the ankle technique or not is away from the drum kit. You lift your heel up while sitting down, just have the ball of your foot on the ground and simply tap your foot. The only movement is coming from your ankle moving up and down. So basically long story short is we want to get really good at moving this quickly. Now to be fair, Doing this away from the drum kit, I actually think is harder because when the ball of your foot is on the kick drum pedal, you actually have springs bringing the rebound back. So you're able to dribble the pedal a little bit easier, a little bit quicker on the kit than when you are just tapping your foot with your ankle away from the kit. But either way, the movement is the same. So now let's try to just move our ankle technique on the ground first, get a feeling for that, and then we'll move it onto the kit and see how things sound. So now what you might notice right off the bat is that this feels uncomfortable and that your foot maybe twitches but can't actually get the beater into the head. And that is totally normal. This is part of the process. Repetition and time and the more that you pound this concept into your brain, the more your muscles and your brain and your whole body will start to get more and more used to this idea and more comfortable with it. And if you're anything like me, sometimes really fast tempos feel okay, but as you slow it down, you totally lose control. So what I would recommend is actually focusing in on those slower tempos to gain that control so that you can speed it up from there. And something to pay attention to is your heel height. You might not always want it super far off the ground. Sometimes lowering it helps you get less of a pushing down motion. Maybe just experiment a little bit with the height of your heel off the ground and see what starts to feel good. But sometimes just straight 16th notes on the kick can be way too overwhelming. I created this really simple exercise Size to help you just focus in on a few notes at a time to really help you get it in bursts and then you can get a little bit of a rest. So what I want you to do is simply play eighth notes on the hi-hat, snare on two and four, then you're gonna play four sixteenth notes using ankle technique on one, E, and a. Uh. So four notes in a row, which is gonna be tough, but I really just want you to focus in on that technique and sometimes the stopping and starting can actually be difficult. This exercise can help you with that too. So let's hear what it sounds like. So quite frankly, I use ankle technique on the kit all the time. I use it with I Prevail. I use it sometimes when I need to do kind of like a double kick part, but it feels too slow to actually go back and forth between the two pedals. So I would spend some time on this and really try to dial it in. If you like this lesson and want to take the full course of Drum Technique Made Simple totally for free, click right up here to start your free trial of DBO Academy, and I will see you there. Stay true. <laughs>